Coach Sturgeon of Floyd Central, another outstanding season that the Highlanders are having, and uh, you've got to be very proud. We introduced uh, the star of the team, Kobe Barnes, an all-star candidate, just having a tremendous senior season. So things are pretty good, I take it, in the uh, Sturgeon camp. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, 65 degrees out and a four-game winning streak. You're feeling pretty good about things. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Coach, what, are, what does the elementary programs mean to a high school program as far as fitting into the feeder system kind of thing? How important are these things? Well, obviously, you know, ultimately it's the lifeblood of the program that you keep uh, not only kids, good players coming, but enthusiasm. You know, I say all the time you want those kids going to bed at night dreaming of wearing that uniform that, that really when you get that going – in your community, then your program is, uh, you know, you're going to be in good shape. So that's what uh, we've, you know, you're always hoping that you're building, and it certainly helps having young guys like Kobe who kids are attracted to. You know, when kids come to our camp and talk to him, they love him. He's like a teddy bear. He's great with the kids. And and uh, I'm sure Romeo obviously had that attraction with for New Albany the last couple of years of not only being uh, a fantastic player, but having the, uh, a unique ability to connect with those young kids. And, and uh, so that's always fun to watch as well. Absolutely. I've known Kobe since he was tiny, and he's always been just exactly as you described him, just a very nice young man who likes everybody, and people are drawn to him. You're exactly right. And I certainly hope I saw an article in the Indy Star that of the sure things making the All-Star team, but with that voting, I've seen some strange things, but I don't think there's any way in the world, even with the voting the way it can go, that they could overlook Kobe Barnes for the All-Stars. Well, certainly if it continues, it, as you mentioned, things get crazy sometimes when uh, committees are in rooms and so forth. But, but given the performance that he had in the junior All-Star game against Kentucky last year, coupled with the kind of year he's having and the kind of year our team is having, uh, if, if that continues, you certainly would think that he would have a great chance. Absolutely. Coach, we're uh, approaching uh, tournament time, and I cannot believe that we're talking about tournament time and sectional draws. It seems like we just started a couple of weeks ago. It has flown by. It gets worse every year, for me at least. Uh, but it has been a fantastic season for you. You have uh, accomplished a great deal. Back in the running, or in the running for the Hoosier Hills Conference title again, and so it's been a great year for the Highlanders. Yeah, and you know, hopefully we can continue that. We've, uh, you know, we're now into February, where you can kind of see the the finish line, and and uh, uh, the, hopefully that we can continue to improve. That's the one thing that you've got to, as both as coaches and players, that you don't uh, start treading water just waiting for. The, the, the last week of February that you continue to come into practice with uh, with an excitement for getting better because, uh, you know, when you look at our sectional, it, it, a bunch of teams can win that thing. And, and uh, you know, New Albany's playing fantastic right now. Uh, you know, Jeff's A game is as good as anybody's. And, and uh, so, uh, and Bedford, in spite of what happened at our place the other night, uh, they turned around and beat a ranked team by 20 points the next night, and uh, they're certainly capable. And so uh, uh, it, it should be another uh, exciting tournament for the fans of Southern Indiana. I was talking with Bud Chippy, who I think you know. I do, uh, well. The other night at the girls' sectional, and I said, you know, at least this year when we uh, line up the sectional, you won't have to worry about porta pots outside for the long lines of crowds or people running in the door to find the seat. But it will be just as exciting because it's boys basketball in Indiana, uh, and I'm, I'm expecting another great sectional because there's a lot of talented teams in there, as you mentioned. So it uh, should be a fun year, and you guys, like I said, outstanding season. Uh, did you expect this going in, Coach? You knew you had a couple of pretty good scores in High Breeder and Barnes, and so the others have come through, including your son, who, if I'm right, somebody told me a rumor that he is going to St. John's. Is that correct? Well, I don't know that he's made that decision okay. yet. He, he, okay. he got a he got a, pr a presidential scholarship offer there, and so and he's man. always uh, he's always even as a little guy always loved New York, and and uh, so that's something that he's been thinking about. But uh, he hasn't. Uh, I don't know that he's 
c- completely made that decision, but that's something that's on his plate. But uh, when you get back to your question, I, I really did. You know, people kept talking to me about we lost seven seniors, which was true. And are you, you know, concerned about it's going to take a little time with a bunch of guys that haven't played uh, at, at the varsity level big minutes? And I really didn't think it would. I, I mean, those guys uh, – uh, have played a lot of basketball. Those guys have played together since our, se- our we have nine seniors. They and most of those guys have played together since they were fifth graders. And uh, I, I just I, I just had a feeling that we had a chance to have a really good year again and maybe be better than uh, what some people thought we were going to be. So uh, and so far it's turned out. Now hopefully we can uh, continue to take that on into February, late February and March. I understand. Coach, best of luck to you in the tournament. Hope everything works out for you. You've done a fantastic job, and uh, you're one of the nicest guys I know that coaches basketball. Not that they are all aren't nice, but uh, you've just got a great personality. Well, well, I always enjoy talking to well, you. Well, I appreciate that. All basketball coaches are a little bit nuts, so they wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> but uh, but uh, this is great. I'm, I'm glad to see you know how much time and effort you guys put into covering this tournament here with these kids. I mean, they're cutting down the nets, and – and playing one shining moment, and the lights are out with the starting lineups and the music. It's just fantastic. I agree. Matt Dennison and the Parks Department have done a fantastic job. Yep. Coach, good luck. All right. Take care. Enjoy. You too. All right. Coach Sturgeon of Floyd Central High School stopping by to chat with us this afternoon. We are ready for the tip-off of today's boys championship game. Officials are ready. Teams are ready. We'll get these starting lineups to you as the game progresses here. There's the toss, and we have a quick foul call on Cruz Anderson of Grantline as he gets tangled up with Luke Jacoby, and it will be With the basketball, long shot put up, no good. Fight for the rebound. Lloyd Knobs taking the shot, no good. Slapped out of bounds, it will go to Grantline. Grantline starters, Cruz Anderson, Max Watson, Owen Gum, Tanner Garman, and Noah Washington. They're on the attack now. Out front is Anderson with the basketball. Good ball handler. Gets it inside. Jump shot put up, partially blocked. Chasing it down. And driving to the basket is Noah Washington. And Washington hammered as he tries to get to the rim. Going to be two shots for Noah Washington. Right-hander eyes the basket, puts a shot up. It's good. Anderson, first point of the game, one nothing. Grant line on top. Second shot, no good. Lloyd's knobs claims it out of there. Jackson Stone with the rebound. Now down into the corner on the dribble. Gets it back out front. Connor McMahon gets it back into the corner. Back out front it comes to Noble. Noble shot up and goes over the backing board. Ethan Noble with the shot. It will be Grand Line ball as we are back underway. We've played a little over 50 seconds and just one point scored that by Grand Line on a free throw by Noah Washington. Anderson guarded closely out front, gets the ball ahead to Owen Gum, Gum inside to Washington. His shot rolls around the rim, falls off the far side, and Floyd's Knobs has the rebound. Coming down with it, Landon Reed. Reed goes all the way to the basket, puts it up, but a whistle and a foul. Let's see if it was on the floor or after the shot. And the foul is gonna be whistled on Max Watson, his first. Teams first. Common foul. Lloyd's Knobs putting it inbounds under their own basket. Bounce pass comes in. Shot off the glass. It's up. It's good. And 
let's see if we can get a number as we try to spot these young people on who hit the basket. I believe it is Luke Jacoby with the basket. Gives Floyd's knobs the lead. Anderson, a runner off the glass, no good. Fight for the rebound, and coming down with it is Reed. Landon Reed with the rebound. Starting lineup for Floyd's Knobs, Landon Reed, Luke Jacoby, Connor McMahon, Ethan Noble, and Jackson Stone. Reed drives down, puts it off the glass. It rolls around the rim and drops in. 4-1, Floyd's Knobs on top. Steal out front, drive to the basket up, no good. Rebound, hustle down the floor by Floyd's Knobs. They get the rebound, put up the shot, no good. Put up the shot again, no good. And a fight for the rebound coming out of there with it is Stone for Floyd Knobs. And now a whistle. Fraction of some kind, and it will go over to Grantline trailing four to one to Floyd's Knobs, 231 to go in the first quarter. A new player into the game for Grantline. A lot of contact out front, a steal by Jacoby, and then a whistle and a foul. Actually, I think the ball hit the sideline. The new player into the game for Grantline is number 10, Donovan Taylor. Shot up, no good. Fight for the rebound. Coming out of there with it is Gum. Owen Gum gives it off to Taylor. Back to Gum. Back to Washington. And we've got a timeout on the floor taken by Grantline. They want to talk about it. We'll take a timeout as well. We'll be right back with more action from the boys' championship game of the Floyd County Elementary Tournament after this 30-second timeout on Big X Sports Radio, WXVW. back with you at Scribner Elementary. We're ready for action again. It will be Grand Line's ball, side court. Comes into the back court to Anderson, back out at the point guard spot. Trying to get away, good defense being played by Jacoby of Floyd's Knobs. Washington down the lane, shot put up. No good, but last touch by Grant Ryan. It will be Floyd Knobs' ball going the length of the court. Minute 52 remaining in the first quarter. Floyd Knobs with it in the backcourt. They'll be met right at the timeline by Anderson on the dribble. Is Jacoby. Now Jacoby outside to McMahon. And the ball stolen away by Anderson. Drives down, two players on him. He puts it up, no good, but he is fouled as he put the shot up. Let's see which one they call it on. It's going to be on number four. That is Jacoby, his first. First on Floyd's noms. Each team with one team foul. Anderson at the line. Right hands it up and a little hard off the back of the iron, no good. 4-1. Floyd's Knobs leading, a minute 33 showing on the clock. Second free throw up and good. Anderson's first point and he cuts the lead to two. Jacoby dribbles over to the sideline to get some instructions from his coach. Now brings it across and there's a collision out near the timeline. Looks like Anderson 
going to pick up the foul, going for the loose ball. Ready to inbound, Reed for Floyd's knobs, checking into the game. For Grant Line, we have uh, Hamilton. Denton Hamilton. <clears throat> Out front, Jacoby on the dribble. Now gives it off to Reed. Reed goes down the lane, puts it up off the glass, and it's good. Reed with four, Landon Reed, and the lead is four, 6-2. Lloyd's knobs over grad line. Watson with the basketball. And we've got a turnover on the dribble by Grantline. It goes back over to Lloyd's Dobbs. Slowly bringing the ball up court is Jacoby. Jacoby met at the timeline by Hamilton. Then gives it back out to Reed. Pass inside intended for, I believe, Noble. Swiped away and Grand Line has it in front court. Going for the steal. McMahon. Call for the personal foul as there was a collision out front. Long pass comes in to Watson for Grand Line. Just 12 seconds left, calls out the play. Spins at the top of the circle, down the lane, puts it up, and no good. Fight for the rebound, gets his own rebound. Comes out, one second left, puts it up, no good. And that's how we'll end the first quarter of play with Floyd Knobs on top of Mount Tabor, 6-2. to two. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a moment here on the Big X Sports Radio, WXVW. Back with you, boys' championship game from Scribner Middle School, Washington for Grand Line drives down the lane and puts it in. 6-4, Lloyd's Knobs leading Mount Tabor. Jacoby, in no hurry, crosses the timeline, picked up by Anderson. Down the right side, throws up a shot, and hits the side of the glass, but he is fouled on the play. And the foul is going to be on Max Watson. That will be his second. It's going to send Luke Jacoby to the free throw line. Luke's got two points on the afternoon. He'll have two shots coming. Couple of dribbles, puts it up off the side, no good. He'll have another one coming. 4.32 4.32 remaining until halftime. We've already crowned one champion, Mount Tabor, winning the girls' 2019 championship. Next shot, a hard off the back of the iron, and McMahon runs it down, and I apologize for mispronouncing that name. I should know that name. I know the father. I'm just 
flat apologized for that. So Connor McMahon slapped, uh, kind of knocked out of bounds. And so instead of a foul, they just give the ball back to Floyd's Knobs. Long shot put up by Reed, no good, but a rebound and a shot put up, no good. That was Jacoby, and now we'll have Grand Line with the basketball. Out front, McMahon makes the steal. He's all alone, drives down, right hands it up, and it's good. McMahon with his first two of the night. 8-4, Floyd Nobbs leading Grand Line with the ball out front. Watson, Max Watson. Shot put up and no good, and Floyd Snobbs has the rebound. Reed, Landon Reed with it. Right down the lane all the way. May have taken an extra step, no call. Free throw or shot up, no good. McMahon with the rebound. Gives it to Jacoby. Jacoby looking for somebody, and we've got a timeout called by Floyd Snobbs. So a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout. We'll be right back after this 30-second message on the Big X Sports Radio, WXPW. Back with you, 8-4. Floyd's Knobs leads. Grand Line Elementary, 331 remaining until halftime and a good one here this afternoon. Floyd's Knobs will have the ball under their own basket. Pass goes under the basket. Tied up, but uh, they let him work it out. And on the shot, we've got a foul. Let's see who that's going to send to the line. Trying to check a number here. First shot up and no good. He'll have another one coming. Second shot up. Grants was the player with the shot. Missed them both and going the other way. Grand line with it. Washington short jumper. Hits the front of the iron. Rolls over and drops through. Washington's got five. And it's an 8-6 game with Floyd's Knobs leading. Reed brings it down now, looks inside, and goes up for a shot. Shot is blocked from behind, but a whistle, a foul, and Washington going to be called for the personal foul for Washington, his first, team's fourth. So, first shot up no good by Reed. Reed has four on the afternoon, four of the eight for Floyd's knobs. 2.54, showing on the clock. Halftime ahead. Second free throw up and good. Five points for Reed, lead back to three. Grand line. McMahon comes out to pick up the ball. Max Watson dribbling and to Washington. Long shot, no good. Fight for the rebound and it's going to stay with Grand line. Slapping it out of bounds that time was Jackson Stone. And so Grand Line hangs on to it. Player open under the basket, but the pass deflected. Stone picks it up. Stone hands it off to Luke Jacoby. And Jacoby for Floyd Snobs brings it down back to 
McMahon, I believe. Let me check and see. No, that's Grants. Grants just came in the game, and Grants, his first two, 11-6. Floyd Knobs' largest lead of the night. And a whistle and a foul. Grants ooh, actually went the other way. I thought it was a foul on Grants, but no, the foul called on Grantline. Turnover for Grantline gives the ball back to Floyd Snobs, leading by five with a little over two minutes until halftime. Jacoby gives it to Reed. Reed loses the handle, gets it back, collides with Washington, gets it inside to McMahon. McMahon call for traveling. A lot of contact, a lot of body contact under the basket, but he's called for traveling. Washington brings it up for Grantline. Drives down, guarded by Reed. Now gives it off to Watson. Watson shot up off the front of the iron, and Reed has it in in a hurry down the left side. Collides with Washington, no call. Drives all the way to the basket. Lays it up and in. Seven points for Reed, 13 to six. And we're gonna get another timeout by Grantline right here. With the score 13 6, a minute 28 until halftime, we'll be right back after this 30 second message here on Big X Sports Radio WXW. We're back with you once again. It will be Grant Lang's ball. Trailing by seven. Noah Washington bringing it across the timeline. He'll be picked up by Reed. Goes down the right side. There's a lot of contact. He kind of throws the ball at the basket. Misses everything. And Jacoby comes out of there with the basketball. Now sets up the offense. He's in backcourt. Now crosses over. Right down the lane, off the glass, no good. Ball slapped away, McMahon's got it. Taylor and McMahon tie up. We're going to have a foul called on Taylor. (laughs) Taylor gave one of the most incredulous looks when they realized they called a foul on him. I love that facial expression on the young man. So, on the foul... Taylor with the foul. Put it in the wrong column. All right, there we go. Got it straightened out. McMahon at the line. First shot up. No good. He'll have another one coming. Connor McMahon has two points on the night. Second one coming. Couple of dribbles, a spin. Couple of more dribbles. The shot, good. Connor McMahon with three, and it's 14 to six. Under a minute to go, 50 seconds left in the first half. Noah Washington looks for a pick, but it's gonna be an illegal pick set out front. Still moving when the collision occurred with Reed, and so called for the personal is going to be Carter Thompson. Jacoby across the timeline to Reed. Reed down the lane. Left hands it up on the layup but misses it. Rebound, shot up, no good. McMahon trying to save it. Touch the end line and so, ball goes over to Grant line with 29 seconds. Washington slowly brings it up now. Reed will meet him at midcourt. 
Washington kind of dribbling around as it looks like they want to take the final shot of the half. Washington on the baseline, puts up the 10-foot jumper, no good, but a whistle and a timeout taken by Floyd's Knobs with 6.8 seconds left. 14 to six, Floyd's Knobs on top, playing for the championship of the Floyd County Elementary Basketball League. Now Tabor, girls already crowned champions here earlier this afternoon in a fun-filled day for all. Had a great crowd for the semifinals this morning, and that has carried over to the championship games uh, this afternoon. A lot of things going on. There is a uh, clinic going on and some competition. Skills camp over on the opposite court. There will be all-star games coming later. We've had dance teams from some of the schools perform. We've had the all-star teams introduced and just a fun day here at Scribner Middle School. 6.8 seconds. Floyd Knob's gonna roll the ball up. Jacoby waiting for it, takes it. In a hurry, down the right side, gives it to Reed. Reed pulls up for a long, long three, hits the front of the iron, misses. And that's how we'll end the first half of play with Floyd's Knobs on top by a score of 14 to six over Grantline. So we're gonna take a break. We'll be back, take a look at the first half scoring in just a moment. You're listening to the Big X Sports Radio, WXVW. Ladies and gentlemen, our halftime entertainment at the Woods County Championship game will be from the Mount Tabor Elementary Dance Team. But before we have the, the performance today, we want to recognize the Mount Tabor team. They won a few weeks ago the 2018-19 Floyd County Dance Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, your county dance champions, the Mount Tabor Tigers, under the direction of Coach Michelle Carpenter in Diana Bell. presentation being made here at halftime of the boys championship game to youth sports over his lifetime throughout the community of New Albany. Back again to present the Jim Hook Community Service Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Hook. Jim Hook 
presenting the award. And we'll the winner of the 2018-19 Jumbo Community Service Award is Ronnie Berry. Simply put, Ronnie Berry has answered the call to help the elementary basketball the presentation. We'll try to get the name again, for you. I believe the first name was Ronnie, but I could not make out the second name, and so we'll try to try to pick that up for you. In just a few moments, let's take a look at the scoring here in the boys' championship game for Grand Line. They are led by Noah Washington with five points. One point for Cruz Anderson, and that is the scoring for Grand Line Elementary. For Floyd Snobs, they are led by Landon Reed with seven, three for Connor McMahon, two for Luke Jacoby, and two for Grants. And hold on one second. Lost my sheet here. Cooper Grants has two for Floyd Snobs. Elementary basketball over the years at certain schools would not be possible without the great support, leadership, and coaching of Coach Ronnie Berry, the winner of this year's Jim Hook Community Service Award. Ronnie Berry getting the uh, Community Achievement Award for all of his fine work and helping out and coaching in many other ways. So. So that's the presentation here at halftime. Still three minutes showing on the clock before we head back into the second half of play and crown a champion. Floyd Zobbs methodically putting this one a little farther, a little harder for Grand Line. 6-2 was our score at the end of the first quarter. And at halftime, 14-6, Floyd Zobbs leading Grand Line. And the championship game here today. Earlier, we crowned Mount Tabor as the girls' champion as they won it in a, uh, a good ball game, pulling away in the fourth quarter. Uh, in that game, we were tied 4-4, Floyd's Knobs and Mount Tabor. And then Mount Tabor ahead 10-6 at halftime, 12-10 after three periods of play, and finally win it by a final of 19 to 12. Now Tabor, your girls, 2019 champions. A couple of minutes remaining, we'll take a one minute break here and then be back with the second half of action. One minute break here on the Big X Sports Radio, WXVW. And now here's Lee Keller. All right, thank you very much, Douglas. And we're back just about 30 seconds away from the start of the second half of action. Grand Lions still out taking a few final shots. Floyd's Knobs already retired to the sideline for coaching instructions, and we are just seconds away from the horn. Start the second half of play. At the conclusion of the game, we'll be talking with uh, members of the winning team, just like we did with Mount Tabor earlier today. Get to know them a little bit in a limited amount of time and looking forward to 
meeting either the players from Grand Line Elementary or from Floyd Knobs Elementary. Good crowd on hand, as we mentioned earlier today. And uh, they've been treated to some excellent basketball here in the semifinals and finals at Scribner Middle School. There's the horn. It will be Floyd's Knobs ball to start the second half of action. Already leading by eight. Grant Line has some work to do, and Floyd's Knobs has a plan. Jacoby with it, the point guard out front. They're running the weave around the top of the circle. Reed stops, pops a three, and hits it. And Reed now with double figures. He's got 10 on the night. I lied to you. They only gave him a two-pointer on that, so he's got nine points on the night. Thought he was uh, behind the line. Grand line looking, gets it inside. Shot put up by Washington. No good. Rebound. Comes out, and then McMahon out at the point guard spot now, brings it across and doesn't get it across the timeline in the amount of time. Turnover. Ball goes over to Gradline on the turnover. Ten-point lead for Floyd's Nubs. Anderson calls out the play. Now comes across. Jacoby picks him up. Now down to the right side, but gives it off to Washington out front. Anderson thinks about a three, doesn't take it. Washington trying to spin his way down the lane, gives it off, shot is up, shot is good. Double check that number as he comes by. That's Garman with his first two of the night. Cuts the lead to eight, 16 to eight. St. Floyd's Knobs leading. Long shot by Reed, no good, and rebound fought for. Grand Line's going to come away with it. In a hurry, Anderson comes across, but Jacoby cuts him off. He'll pull it back out and set it up. Washington comes out to set a pick, but Anderson gets by him before he can actually get the pick set. Anderson to the free throw line. The runner up, no good. Rebound fought for and coming out of there with it. Floyd's knobs. Reed down the lane. Puts it up. Shot partially blocked. Little bit of contact. No call. Washington will bring it the other way for Grantline. Picks up his dribble. Has to wait for someone to come bail him out. And then a drive along the baseline. And we're going to have a foul. It's going to be called on... Connor McMahon, his second, first foul in the second half. Anderson, a long three, no good. Rolls off the front of the rim. Shot put up, misses everything. That was Watson. And coming down, McMahon with the rebound. Gives it to Jacoby. Jacoby down the left side, gives it to... Well, actually stolen out front. And a drive to the basket, a shot put up. Garman's got his fourth point of the afternoon all here in the second half. And all of a sudden, it's a six-point lead for Floyd Snobs. <clears throat> Jacoby gives it to McMahon. McMahon, a runner, hits the side of the iron and rolls away. And rebound claimed by... Grand line, shot up ahead, pass up ahead. And Watson with the basket, his first two of the afternoon. All of a sudden, what was a 10-point lead is now a four-point lead for Floyd's Knobs. This one getting close. Reed fakes the shot, then drives down the lane, puts it up, and it's good. Reed lays it in on a drive to the basket, and it's back to a six-point lead. 18 to 12. Anderson gets a pick out front. Gives it off. Watson's shot is short. Slapped around. Little contact. No call. Reed has it. He'll bring it up himself. Reed with 11 points to lead all scorers in the game today. Down the lane again. Left hands it up. No good. 
but a shoving foul called. And let's see if it came, gonna give him two shots, I believe. Couldn't tell if it was on the floor or at the shot. And they say it was uh, on the shot, so he'll go to the line for two. Left-hander puts it up, high arching shot off the front of the iron, no good. He'll have another one coming. Landon Reed, 11 points to lead both teams in scoring. Second shot, good. High arching, nothing but net. 12 points for the young man from Floyd's Up. Anderson, little contact out front, drives down. It's a runner off the back of the iron, no good. Anderson runs it down, gets his own rebound, gives it to Washington. Down the lane, Washington puts it up and in. And a whistle. He's going to have an opportunity for a free throw as well. Basket is good. He'll have one more coming, having a free throw coming, actually. (coughs) Noah Washington at the line. Shot is in the air and no good. Rattles around, comes out of there. And in the backcourt, we've got a whistle and a foul. It'll be on Garmin. It'll be his first common foul. Stone inbounds to Jacoby and then takes it right back in front court. But a steal out front by Watson, then stolen right back by Reed, then stolen back again by Watson, and then... Steps called on Washington, or rather on Watson. So the ball stays with Floyd Knobs. A flurry of action there on that one possession. Bounce pass comes in to Jacoby. 24 seconds left in the period. Jacoby guarded by Anderson out front. Gives it off to McMahon. McMahon guarded. Gets it along the baseline to Reed, I believe that was. Put the shot up, rolled off the rim, and rolls out of bounds. Last touched by Floyd Snobbs. So with 10 seconds left in the third period, pass comes in to Washington, who may not be aware of the time. Slowly brings it up court five seconds. Now gets it across. Puts up the long jumper off the back of the iron. No good. And Reed pulls it out of the air, and that's how we'll end the third period of play with the score. Floyd's Knobs 19 and Grand Line 14. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on the Big X Sports Radio, WXPW. Sunday afternoon, Super Bowl Sunday. Certainly has been super here today watching these elementary basketball players on both the girls' and boys' side provide a lot of action and fun here this afternoon. Five minutes remaining in the championship game and regulation with Floyd's Knobs leading it 19-14 over Grantline. All-star teams for New Albany and Floyd Central. 
introduced by Matt Dennison during that timeout. Anderson with the basketball for Gradline. Tripped as he headed to the basket. We're going to get a whistle and a foul. And Luke Jacoby called for the personal foul. Jacoby just his second. Second foul. Gradline with the ball under their own basket, looking, gets it into Watson. Watson left hands it up, not quite enough strength to get it over the rim that time. Rebound, Gradline puts it up, hits the side of the iron, no good, and Floyd's knobs have got it going the other way. McMahon brings it across, feeds Jacoby down the right side. Jacoby back out top. And we've got a whistle. At separate things. Looks like 35 Tanner Garman called for the personal foul, but it well, going to give him two shots. Okay. First shot up and no good. That's Ethan Noble at the free throw line. He'll have another one coming. Chance to extend this Floyd Knobs lead. Shot up and high, hit the back of the iron, bounced high into the air, and then down and through. And that's Noble's first point of the afternoon, increases the lead to six points. Anderson gets the pick, gets down the right side, bounce pass to Washington. Washington goes in, lays it up, it's good. He's fouled and he'll go back to the line. Washington, shot up and good. Yeah, that's what I thought. He hit the free throw and all of a sudden they were signaling one more shot coming. Not a four-point play, just a three that time. Anyway, he hits the free throw, and now it's down to a three-point lead with four minutes to go. Jacoby gives it to McMahon. Stops, pops, a 15-footer, no good. Fight for the rebound, and I think everybody on the floor had a hand on it. Still battling for it. Now it's on the floor, and so are the players. They untangle and help everybody up. And it's going to stay with Floyd's knobs. No one could quite grab the basketball, and it was a little bit of everywhere. Reed with it. The left-hander who leads all scorers with 12. Now passes it off to Jacoby. Jacoby. Noble with it. A whistle, and I'm not sure what happened. Every play stopped, and then finally Garman makes the steal, comes down court, puts up the shot. It's no good. McMahon going the other way. Calling for the ball is Jacoby. Jacoby gets it off. Long shot taken by Grants, and Grants' shot no good, but Reed has it for the rebound, and Reed puts it in. Landon Reed with 14 points and the lead back to five. 2.50 to go in the ball game. Anderson gets a break and the runner. Anderson hits his first. Uh, Makes it three on the night for Anderson. Had a free throw early, first point of the game. And now cuts the lead back to three. Anderson guarding Jacoby. Now Reed has it for Floyd Dobbs. Guarded by Watson. A runner kisses it off the glass, and it's good. 16 points for Reed. Five-point lead for Floyd's Knobs. Anderson goes left this time and shoots a long three. It hits the glass, hits the rim, takes a trip around the rim, and then spins out. No good. 
And Jacoby sets up the offense for Floyd's Knobs. With the basketball was Grant and an attempted steal, had some contact, a whistle, and it's going to be a foul on Garmin, and I believe that's five on Garmin. He is replaced out on the floor. by Carter Thompson, I think. And we've got a traveling call on the exchange between Grants and Jacoby, so a turnover for Floyd's Knobs gives the ball back to Grantline, trailing by five with a minute 49 remaining. Anderson looking. Still looking, still dribbling, guarded by Reed to Washington. Anderson fakes the three, runs a little runner, no good, short. And McMahon has the rebound. Stops out front. Coach is trying to get him to stop out front and slow it down. And nice save that time. Ball almost went over the midcourt. Shot up and good. Nice pass that time from Jacoby to Grants, and Grants with four points. Seven point lead with a minute seven to go. Grand line will have to go in a hurry. Here in the fourth period, Lloyd's Noms outscored Grand line to this point, seven to five. Washington with a drive. Shot up, no good. Bodies all over the floor, and we've got a whistle. And a foul called, I believe, on Reed. Two shots coming for Washington. 59 seconds showing on the clock. Seven-point lead. Washington puts it up, missed everything to the left. He'll have another one coming. He'll have one more coming, 26-19. Floyd's Knobs leads, 59 seconds. And Washington was given an extra shot, but missed all of them. So on the rebound on the missed free throw, we have a jump ball and it goes to Grand Line on alternating possessions. 57 seconds left. Pass inside, slapped away by McMahon. Ball will stay with Grand Line. Grand Line tries to feed it in, slapped away by Jacoby. McMahon coming up with the loose ball and then a whistle and a foul. And I think foul finally called on Owen Gum. Lloyd's Dobbs trying to run out the clock. 48 seconds remaining. A whistle. A reminder to parents and fans to please time out taken by Floyd Snobs. <laughs> we'll stay right here with you. Just a reminder after the game, we will be talking with the uh, champions. Brief interviews, talking to them a little bit about the game tonight and their play and have what they expected and so on. If you were with us earlier, you heard the young ladies from Mount Tabor talking to us about many of them did not expect to win this tournament. They were surprised, but the point guard that led them in scoring had no doubts when this tournament started yesterday morning, she said. So we'll find out about the young men and what their expectations were and how it all turned out for them. That'll be coming up in our post-game show this afternoon. It's going to be 
Floyd's Knobs ball. Jackson Stone will pull the trigger. He will make the inbounds pass. 47 seconds left on the clock. A seven point lead for Floyd's Knobs. Pass comes in to Reed. Reed fouled out front by Washington. And it will. That's five team fouls on Grantline. Pass comes in to Reed. He drives all the way to the basket, misses the shot, but Jacoby on the rebound, and he gets his fourth point of the afternoon. Anderson collides with Grants. And see if it's a common foul. I don't know how many team fouls Grantline or how many team fouls Floyd's Knobs has. Not enough. So it'll be a common foul. Washington with it. 28 seconds left. Washington a long shot. No good. Anderson comes up with a rebound. He lets fly a long shot. It's no good. Washington the rebound. It's no good on the putback, but he is fouled on the shot. Looks like Reed called for the personal foul with 17 seconds left and a 28-19 lead for Floyd's Nubs. All-star teams beginning to assemble in the end zones. And Noah Washington at the line, 10 points on the afternoon, making 11. That one caught a lot of iron, but found its way to the net. 28-20. Washington puts up the next one, no good off the front of the iron. And Grants with a rebound. McMahon brings it down, gets a shove from behind, no call. Shot is blocked. Coming up with it is Anderson. Let's fly with a long shot, no good. McMahon the rebound, and that's the game. The final score, Lloyd's Knobs 28, Grand Line Elementary 20. Lloyd Snobs, your 2019 Elementary Basketball League champions. We'll be back. We'll give you the scoring. We'll talk to the young men who uh, are the winners of the league tournament in just a few moments. So we're going to take a break right here. Uh, Let's do a two-minute break, and we'll be right back here on the Big X Sports Radio, WXVW. from the New Albany High School Boys Varsity team, seniors Derek Stevenson and Chris Johnson, junior Julian Hunter, and freshman Tucker Piven and Kate Stanton.
And now here's Lee Kelly. Okay, Douglas, thank you very much. Again, a little difficulty here <clears throat> this afternoon. Music playing in the background. And the, I can't hear anything. Uh, that's entirely possible. Is that any better? That's, that, we're good there. All right, sounds good. I'm sorry, we've never met, so I don't know who you are. I know you're the coach. I'm the, Kevin Reed. All right, Kevin Reed. And your son had an outstanding game today. Coach, thank you. Tell me about as the see as this tournament started yesterday morning, did you feel like you were the favorites that you uh, should be in the championship game and should be? Yeah, I, th I think if we came out and played the way that we know how to play and played with the effort, and today was maximum effort. And you could see that, and every kid fought hard, and uh, it, it's a pretty cool feeling. Absolutely, coach. Have kids been playing this way all season? I have not seen the games, but yeah, I mean, we they, we've been playing pretty good. But I'd say this weekend. Um, and, and actually, even our last couple games, we had every single kid on the, on the team score. And that's, that's a pretty cool feeling, too, when everybody gets involved and it was a complete team effort. Absolutely. Now, I'm assuming that Landon Reed is your son. He is. And it has to be pretty special to sit there on the bench and watch him pour in 16 points and lead the team up and down the floor, both offensively and defensively. Yeah, it was. Uh, he works hard. But again, he he was he couldn't do it without his teammates setting him up, and, and and the guys really running the offense the way we need to. Obviously, it's it's it was geared for him today. We we felt like there was an opportunity to draw some fouls on their best player, and and uh, it worked out. Absolutely, a lot of fun to watch today. You end up with a eight point victory. Looked like you had it put away. You were leading by ten. All of a sudden, they came up with three baskets, and yep. things got tight. But your kids extended that lead back out. Did a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, I think, I think the boys were getting a little bit tired in the toward the end there, and uh, you know, had a few defensive laps, but they came out and they finished it off. Absolutely, great job, coach. Thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Nice meeting you. All right. That was Coach Reed of Floyd's Noms, and we'll be meeting the rest of the team here momentarily. They're cutting down the net at the moment, and then we'll have them uh, on, <clears throat> get to know them a little bit as uh, these young kids uh, winning the championship today for Floyd's Noms. 2019 champion, Coach Sturgeon out on the floor to congratulate Coach Reed on the uh, victory today for Floyd Snobs Elementary. So now we know who our champions are for 2019. We've got the Mount Tabor girls as the 2019 girls champion. And we've got the young men from Floyd Snobs Elementary as the boys champion for 2019. All right, this is Tyler Hankey. Did I get it right? Yes. All right, that's, that's a good way to start. Fourth grader, young man that uh, uh, you've got to be pretty happy about being a champion. Did, when, when the tournament started yesterday morning, did you think that uh, you guys should be the champions, would definitely be the champions? What, what were your thoughts going in? Well, uh, we were undefeated, so I thought we would come and um, tear. All right, and did it turn out the way exactly like you thought, the way yep. the games went? All right, sounds good. Now let's see, let me learn, but first of all, you're a Purdue fan? Yep. We need to talk, we need to talk. Uh, your favorite food? Uh, pizza and chicken. Any particular type of pizza or just? Cheese, pepperoni. Cheese, pizza, pepperoni, all right, I can live with that, I can live with that. All right, so next year you'll be moving on to to uh, Highland Hills, couldn't think of the name. It's been a long day. Highland Hills, so you plan on continuing playing sports at Highland Hills? Yep. Good job. Good job. Jackson, you're a fourth grader. Tell me a little bit about uh, this tournament that started yesterday morning. Did you think you guys would be the favorite? Did you think you would win it all? Yeah. Played so, with a lot of confidence. Yeah. Just thought it was going to happen, okay? So I thought before we even tried out, I thought that our team could definitely win it this year. Were you a member of the team last year as well? Uh, no, I was it's not. your first year? Yes. Okay, so that's got to be extra special. First year yeah. on the team, you guys win the championship. All right. Tell me about your favorite food. Uh, Just whatever they put in front of you? Yeah, technically. Okay, that's good. That is good. And fourth grader, is that right? Yeah. So next year, going to Highland Hills. Hills. Yeah. Planning on playing sports while you're there? Yeah. All right, good job. Definitely. Good job. All right. Thank you very much, Jackson. Oh, you're Congratulations. Here, Luke. Fourth grader. 
first year on the team or second year on the second. team? Second. Second year on the team. So uh, was this? how was this year different than last year for you? Uh, last year we lost the first game to Greenville, and this year we beat Greenville the first game. Okay. So going into the tournament, when it started yesterday morning, did you feel like you guys – we're in the driver's seat, had it all wrapped up. We're all good to go. Yeah. Okay. Because you beat everybody that you played all season, right? Okay. Sounds good. What's your favorite food? Steak. Good man. Good man. And your favorite college team? Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, Luke, congratulations. Thank you. Luke Jacoby played the point guard today, did a nice job, and uh, ended up with four points on the day. Congratulations. Thank you. Campbell Turnage, you're a fourth grader, first year on the team? Yes. Okay, so what was it like playing basketball at Floyd Knox this year? Well, we, it was really fun because last year I was a third grader and it was really hard to make the team. So it was a good opportunity to make the team this year. All right. Your thoughts when the horn sounded and you realized that you guys were the champions? Any special thing come to mind for you? No, not really. Just realizing that it's a school school championship and that we won it. And next year you will uh, go to Highland Hills, planning on playing sports and things yes. out there? Okay, great, great. Campbell Turnage, our guest. Congratulations, Campbell. Thank you. Number 20, Nate Thomas. Nate's a fourth grader. First year on the team, Nate? Yes. Okay. So... Did you enjoy your year of playing for Floyd's Knobs Elementary? Yes. All right. What was what was the special thing about it? The championship today or just being around the other players, being friends with them and hanging out? What what did you like about this year? I got to hang out with all my friends on the team and we won the championship. And we won the championship, absolutely. Favorite food? Uh, and you put down spaghetti. So your mom's spaghetti, or you like going out, you have a favorite restaurant. Oh, there you go. you got some bonus points there. She'll love you for that. All right, Nate Thomas, congratulations on being the 2019 champion. Thank you. Okay. At Eli Robiloff? Robiloff. Robiloff. I got close. I got close. All right, Eli, you're a fourth grader, first year on the team? Yes. Okay, so your thoughts on the whole season here? Uh. It's been my favorite season that I've played uh, my whole life and very, very fun, and I was very, very excited when we won the championship. Now, do you play other sports as well? Uh, yes, I play swimming and okay. golf. What uh, what events do you swim in? Uh, my main one is breaststroke. It's a tough stroke. Yes. It takes a while to get all the coordination down for that, so that's great. That is great. You swim with, uh, is it Southern Indiana? Uh, Riverside Aquatics. Riverside. Five. Riverside. That's right. Okay. Well, good luck to you in swimming, and congratulations on being a 2019 champion. Thank you. All right. That's Eli Robiloff. Did I get it? Yes. yes. All right. Quit while I'm ahead then. <laughs> okay. And let's see who we have next. Ethan, your thoughts. You got to spend the season with your dad, who's the one of the coaches on this team. What's it been like for you? It's been amazing because my dad's always a great coach, and I think that we just had the best season ever. Absolutely. It's always fun. Now, you're a third grader. You'll be back next year to play as well and try to uh, win another championship for Floyd's Knobs, right? Yes, sir. Okay. How much? You spend a lot of time working on your sports? Yes. Uh, okay. Dad work with you a lot? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. He's pretty knowledgeable about these things. He's a good guy to work with. So what's your favorite uh, food? Um, tacos. Tacos. Any particular place you like them from or just tacos from anywhere? Anywhere. <laughs> Good man. Good man. Ethan, congratulations, and hopefully we'll see you next year here at the championship game as well. Thank you. All right. Ethan Noble, fourth grader, play on the team last year? Yep. Okay. It showed. Today, you had 16 of the 28 points for this team. Are you normally the go-to guy on offense? Usually, yeah. Okay. Does it help the fact that you're a left-hander? Because it seemed tough for them today to be able to stop you. They were looking for you to go to the right, and you went the other way. Yeah. You got some nice shots as you drove down that lane. So do you play other sports as well? Yes. What else do you play? Baseball and golf. Baseball and golf. Okay. What's your favorite? 
Basketball. Or whatever you're playing at that moment, maybe. Basketball. Basketball is your favorite, okay. So you're looking forward to moving on to Highland Hills. Yep. Planning on continuing playing sports there. Mm-hmm. All right. That's great. You had a great game today. Thank you're a you. great leader out there. You took charge when they came back and made it interesting in there in the fourth quarter. You took over and uh, led the team to uh, a victory. So congratulations. Thank you. Uh, on being a champion in 2019. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Blake Schuler scanlon third grader. First year on the team. Yes. Okay. Did you have a fun year? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Planning on playing again next year? Yes. Okay. So tell me, who's your favorite team of all sports, anywhere, anytime? Probably Kentucky. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. We need to talk. What's your favorite food? Pizza. We can live with that. Any particular type of pizza? Or just whatever they have? You'll eat anything. Sure. Okay, sounds good. Blake, congratulations. Hopefully we'll see you here next year in the championship game again. Yeah. All right. Blake Schuler scanlon third grader at Floyd's Knob. All right. Connor, key part of the game today. Man, you get inside and rebound. You play great defense. You get down on the floor and get dirty. You do it all for them. You did a nice job today. Thank you. Now, tell me, when, when the tournament started, did you think – we're going to be in that championship game. We're going to win it all. Yes. Had a lot of confidence. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been playing basketball? It's about seven years. Is that right? It's a long time to be playing at your age. So do you play other sports as well? Yes, I do. What else do you I play? I play football and soccer. Football and soccer. Okay. That is good. Connor, you had a great game today. You were a key part and one of the key reasons why they won the game. So congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Good luck to you. Channing Goble. Uh, and Channing, you're a fourth grader. Is that correct? Yes. Is this first year on the team? Yes. Okay. Did you have fun? Yes. Okay. What, what was the best part of it for you? What did you enjoy? Winning the championship. Winning the championship. That's a good thing to enjoy. So you're going to go home and watch the Super Bowl now maybe? I don't know. Don't know? Okay, what's your favorite sport to watch on TV? Basketball. Basketball. Who's your favorite team? Indiana. Good Good man. Good man. That was a big win yesterday that Indiana had. A lot of fun. Well, Channing, congratulations. It's great uh, that you're a champion here in 2019. uh, Best of luck to you, okay? All right, that's Channing Goble, fourth grader, Lloyd's Dobbs Elementary. So, Cooper Grant, fourth grader at Floyd's Dobbs Elementary. Cooper, you played a great game today. You came in, did a nice mm-hmm. job, and, and really helped out. So, what did you feel like your role on the team was this season? It's fun, and you get to play together and stuff. Did you think that you were going to win it when the tournament started yesterday morning? Did you have any doubts that you weren't going to win this tournament? Yeah, okay. a couple of them. You thought... Yeah. Things could go wrong, but it all turned out the way you wanted. Yes. What were your thoughts when the horn sounded to end the game? Well, like, it's going to get hard. So. I understand. All right, well, Cooper, congratulations. It must feel good to be the 2019 elementary champions. Uh-huh. All right. Good luck to you. All right. And that's our last player. So... Congratulations once again to Floyd Snobs Elementary School, the 2019 Boys Elementary Basketball League champions. All right, congratulations to them. And I don't know if we went through the scoring. Let me do that one more time. For Floyd Snobs, they are led by Landon Reed with 16. Four points for Luke Jacoby. Four points for Grants, Cooper Grants. Uh, three points for Cooper McMahon, one points for Ethan Noble, and that'll round out the scoring for Floyd's Knobs. For Grand Line, they are led by Noah Washington with 11, four points for Tanner Garman, three points for Cruz Anderson, two points for Max Watson, and uh, one point for Taylor. You give me one second. I'll locate my sheet here. And Donovan Taylor had one point on the day. So 
Final score once again, Lloyd's Noms Elementary 28, Grand Line Elementary 20. We thank you so very much for joining us here on this elementary championship game afternoon. Our winners, Mal Tabor on the girls' side, your 2019 champion. Lloyd's Knobs Elementary, the boys' 2019 champion. And our congratulations to all of the schools and all of the teams who participated in the 2019 league and tournament. Congratulations to all, and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you to uh, Douglas Wolverton back at our main studios and main controls and keeping me on the straight and narrow this afternoon. So thank you very much for joining us, and have a great afternoon. Enjoy the Super Bowl, and thanks again. This is Lee Kelly. Good night.